In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of levator scapula. Levator scapula is this muscle. This muscle is freaking important for tightness of shoulder. A shoulder means this area. It's not about shoulder joint. This is important for tightness around here. I am going to explain its origin, insertion, and function. Let me explain origin first. Origin of this muscle is cervical spines. About here, C1 through C4, particularly transverse processes. Transverse process of C1 through C4. This is very important. Why? Because origin is cervical spines, thus tightness of levator scapula can affect tightness of neck. Okay, I will explain about movement later. Anyway, origin is transverse process of C1 through C4. Let's check out its insertion. Insertion is here. This is superior angle of scapula. Superior angle. And if you look up some anatomy information, maybe some books might say it's on part of medial border. It depends on books. The major part is superior angle plus slightly on medial border. I just write down superior angle. Origin is transverse process of C1 through C4. Insertion is scapula, superior angle. Let me explain its function. Again, what is name of this muscle? That's levator scapula, right? Name is levator. What can it do? It can do scapular elevation. Simple, right? Elevation means you shrink your shoulder. That kind of movement. Very simple, right? Actually, one more movement for scapula. That is kind of rotational movement. Okay? These two vectors are rotational movement. Levator scapula can do rotation this way. This is downward rotation. Downward rotation. By the way, opposite way is upward rotation. Levator scapula does downward rotation, okay? Rotational movement of scapula is important for shoulder movement. Why is that? This is movement of scapula. How come it is important for shoulder movement? Okay, first thing first. When you move shoulder, you need to be able to move scapula. Particularly, rotational movement is key for shoulder movement. Okay? So what happens when levator scapula gets tight? Particularly, downward rotation is tight or it stacks on a downward rotation position. Maybe it's hard to move shoulder joint. Thus, Levator scapula is important for both scapula movement and shoulder movement. Okay. Movement of levator scapula is elevation, shrinking movement, and downward rotation. 
when this muscle gets tight, that can create tightness around shoulder. This is very common. One more muscle which is kind of similar um, the cause of tight shoulder is trapezius. Both muscles are on this area. This pink one represents trapezius. Okay? Trapezius and levator scapula are kind of on same area. When these two muscles get tight, oftentimes people have tight shoulder. Very important muscles. Okay, I explained movements for scapula. But once you look up origin, it's from cervical spines. Thus, levator scapula can do neck movement. Let me explain that. I was talking about movement of scapula. But when scapula is stabilized, this muscle can move cervical spines. What kind of movement is this? When this muscle contracts this way, it can move cervical spines. It can do side bend. Side bend. That bends neck to laterally. Okay, side way. Side bend. One more movement is rotation. Rotation to same side. Same side means ipsilateral in anatomical terminology. Ipsilateral rotation means same side rotation. This is right side levator scapula. When right side contracts, that brings to right rotation. This is ipsilateral rotation. These two movements happen when one side of levator scapula contracts. What about when both sides contract? That can bring neck to extension. Extension. I found that few anatomy informations said this muscle can also do flexion. Flexion of cervical spines but I was wondering, flexion might happen depends on the uh, angle of cervical spines. Uh, because if you look uh, orientation of levator scapula, it's hard to do flexion in neutral position. Maybe this muscle can do flexion when cervical spine is extended. So let me put question mark in this video. Main function is extension, bilateral contraction. Both fibers contraction that can do extension. Maybe, maybe flexion depends on angle of cervical spines. In this video, I explained basic anatomy of levator scapula. I explained its origin, insertion, and function. Tightness of this muscle can trigger tightness of shoulder. Also, that can inhibit movement of shoulder and scapula. This is tiny muscle, however important muscle. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.